Alright, what's up, Sifted? I am currently recording this on my Chromebook that I just recently got. Um, the beauty of Chromebooks, at least what they've uh, recently integrated into them, is APK support, so Android um, applications. You can do this natively on certain Chromebooks if you go ahead and switch your channel to developer. So I'm on a uh, Samsung Chromebook 3. On developer channel what happens is you now have a Play Store. And this is pretty much exactly what you would expect and what you would see on a normal Android device if you were to go to apps and Play Store and try to find some shit. Um, particularly I've been looking at um, emulators because emulator support has fucking been shit on Chromebooks until now. With APK support suddenly everything seems to work a little bit better so what I'm gonna play is Sonic Spinball and this is I'm turn the audio down a little bit um, one of my favorite fucking Genesis games everybody well, I shouldn't say everybody most everybody doesn't know about this game uh, this came out probably 93-94 I was hoping to get Sonic and Knuckles. My mom bought me Sonic Spinball. Consequently, back in those days, you had the game that you had. And that's what you fucking played. And I ended up loving this game. Alright. So as I mentioned, I'm on my Chromebook. I'm running the dev channel. And uh, some Android APKs inside of Chrome OS. Additionally, I have my Logitech VV816. <laughs> I've had this fucking gamepad for 10 years. Here's the beauty. It fucking works. It fucking works <laughs> in Chrome OS. Thanks to the Gen 2 kernel um, and X input and all the beauty that is Linux we can fucking set this up and it recognizes all of the inputs. I almost fucking died right there. Uh, so the goal of this first level is to get that Chaos Emerald that is stored in that ooze. And in order to do that you have to get on either side of the Chaos Emerald and unplug it. So we're going to try that. I'm going to try to do that right now. If I can get to the other fucking side. Jesus. So, um, in addition to being able to do the paddles, you can also move Sonic um, while you're playing it. Um, which is kind of interesting. And it uh, adds another element to the whole pinball thing, which is fun. It doesn't, you, it doesn't give you a whole lot of movement, but it gives you just enough that you can feel like it's you're actually controlling Sonic in this pinball environment. So now that we've cleared the two plugs, if I can get up there, there we go. On either side here, we now have to. Um, shit, I don't fucking remember. It's so long. You do have to remove the tracks on either side. And as soon as we get up there. Actually, I. Let me see if I can do that again. And not fucking die. So, we've 
Got rid of the sludge in the center here. I'm gonna see if I can get this Chaos Emerald. Boom, there we go. Alright, now I have to figure out how to fuck to get back up there again. Um, You'll notice that both the paddles, um, I'm using the C button. So the C button in the original uh, Sonic Spinball moved both the paddles. Um, when I was a kid, and recently, because I do have this on the original Genesis, I do have a, a Sega Genesis, and I do have this game. Um, that was the only way that I could actually play this game, because it's too much try and calculate like what fucking paddle you should be using so I always use the C button to just do both at the same time just made everything just so much fucking easier granted I've never beaten this game um, I've probably got to like the third stage and there's like 12 stages maybe total keep playing it. I don't know why. This is fun for some reason. I've gotten insane points. In the like hundreds of millions. On the first stage, the second stage. So there's a little bit of that control that you can see. If we if I can do it just right. You can kinda control where Sonic goes if you use the D-pad. But it still has that fucking pinball chaotic. I don't know where the hell this thing's going. Let's see how this fucking video recorded. Let's start with that. 